Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with an estate sale haul. I went to quite a few estate sales, but I did not get very much. So I might be combining a few small um, hauls together. But this first place I went to was pretty cool. It had um, like an outside area and almost where it felt like a store, but it was a house. So it was kind of weird. But I found some pretty cool things. I found this dress and I went on the last day as I always do. I always try to go an hour before they close just so I can get the best deals. When you do that, you do risk missing out on things that people have bought the days before. Um, but I'm fine with that because I really don't need more stuff. <laughs> so I'm looking for a good deal rather than like something I really want. Now if I see something that I really want to have then I might go on the first day. But I found this dress and it was kind of ripped up. Of course I don't care about that because I'm gonna rip it up anyway as most of you watching would I would imagine. <laughs> um, but it's just a really, I don't, is this 70s? I'm not sure. But I just really like these colors regardless. So I'm glad I got a pretty big dress. And when I came up there to pay, the lady was like, I'm so glad you got this because it was all ripped and tattered. But she was like, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to throw it away. So I'm glad someone liked it enough to buy it. So I got that, found this. They did have little prices on things, but when you go on the last day, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll look at your entire pile and they will give you a price for the whole thing, or they'll look at each piece and it'll be 50% off or something like that. Um, if you guys want me to go into more detail on how, like tips for estate sales or, um, Goodwill outlet or anything like that. Let me know. I'd be more than happy to talk about that because I love going to those <laughs> But this fabric I thought was pretty cute and I've been needing more blue fabric And this is kind of a lot So I got that I got this one which again this was marked for 50 cents But I didn't pay 50 cents for it. She charged me a dollar for all the fabric um, put together. This one was a nice floral, which I always love. And I liked that it was blue, because that's what I'm looking for. And I got this fabric. This is probably new. Um, but I like these little designs. And then I got some linen. So she charged me, I think, either a dollar each for the linen or 50 cents. But this is a really big piece. And some of it is stained. Like there's yellowing here. I haven't washed these yet. Um, and there's staining there. But there's like one, two, three, four corners and like the middle right here. So I want to attempt to either make pockets or even a journal cover out of this. And I love that there's crocheting on the edges. I like lots of texture in one piece where it seems very eclectic. This is another piece of linen. It's like a T shape or a cross shape or something. But there's a lot of detail on here. There's this embroidery. And then there's like this stitching across the whole thing. And again on the edges there is crochet. So I could even use like this piece for something. So it's one, two, three, four. 
And then the middle is really cool. Like if you look at it this way, it's a square. So I could take that square out and use it for something. Or I could just use each piece separately. But I'm definitely been keeping an eye out for more things like this. Okay, so that was for the textiles. Now I got some paper things. I got this pack. It's still in this, the seal. Uh, it looks pretty old just by the price and the design. I mean, not too old, but not new. And she just gave this to me for free. I've been looking for lots of dividers because I'm trying to come up with a project using dividers. And this, it was in the cookbook section and I love the coloring of the pages and I love the, it's not super typewritey, but it does look like typewriter font and it's kind of thick. It's not cardstock, but it's not regular paper either. So I want to come up with something using uh, types of cookbook pages like this and I also like the divider part of it and it's bee themed for some reason and then I found this little book it's very little like a little bit bigger than the palm of my hand but it's all roses Okay, it looks like it needs to be cleaned up, but the pages inside have pictures on every, every page, like the right side of each spread. So I thought that was cool. And then I found some little paper things. This one most of these were from the sewing section and they have really cool pictures like look at the bedspread on there i love that blue all over the carpet or that's a rug the walls in the closet bright blue And then there's pictures of ladies working on things. That is cool. That one. Let's see if there's a copyright on here. I don't see a date. Hmm. Okay, so got that. I found this McCall's magazine, which she charged me a dollar for all these little books and magazines. So this is a really good find. This one. I don't see a date on here, but it is 50 cents. So that tells me that it's, you know, somewhat old. Pictures are cool. This one, it says 1961 here, but I don't know if that's for this, like the ad. Okay, so the copyright on the magazine is 1961. But I love these types of pages with the different colors. I like making tags out of them. And there's some nice illustrations like this one. Yeah, I love these colors.
And I've actually been looking for this because I have a fine five ring binder that has these types of pages that I've been really enjoying um, using for tags and pockets. So of course I don't want to run out. <laughs> so I found this one, which I think will be able to do the same type of ephemera that I like. This one, originally 95 cents. It's kind of falling apart. And the copyright here is 1955. And the pages in here are really cool. It's actually pretty thick paper. And there's cute pictures like this one. And yeah, it's just cool. I like this one a lot. Pages are actually pretty thick. I'd say almost cardstock. I don't know if you can hear that, but I love that. And then I found this, just a stack of paper. Um, I really like this paper where it's like light green and there's that line in place that's different from our modern paper. So I got a stack of that. And that was it for that estate sale. Um, I have another estate sale haul coming up as usual. So I hope you will stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.